cut a small piece of banana about that big and we're going to find the mass now. So. Add your banana piece to the plastic bag. And add 30 milliliters of your chosen lysis buffer. Seal up the bag. Mash it around with your fingers for about five minutes. Careful not to puncture the bag. You want all the chunks of banana completely mashed up. Once you are done mashing up the bits, you should have most of your banana chopped up into a solution of yellow goo, like this. Take your coffee filter, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and that makes a nice funnel. We're going to use that funnel to get rid of all the nasty chunks of banana that we don't want. So carefully pour your banana solution into your bag. Hey, okay. try to get it up off the bottom there. Let it slowly drip through the filter. You want to kind of speed it up. You can give it a little squeeze. Try not to break the paper. So you want all that. Goo to stay in the filter. Alright, now that you have filtered your DNA out, um, you need to make it visible. And so to do that, we're going to add 60 milliliters of ethanol that's cold. And we're going to do this very carefully so we create two layers in the beaker. So I'm going to pour it down the side very gently. Very slowly. The slower you go, the better it's going to work. set it down and you can see the DNA is in this white gooey layer in between the ethanol and your original solution. After you've measured, after you've isolated your DNA, take a paperclip hook, measure the mass of your paperclip hook before starting. Take the DNA, hook it, and turn so we can pull it all out of the solution. Nope. If you don't get it all the first time, don't worry. You can go back and hook more. 
Alright, and that is our DNA. We're going to want to find the mass of this.